Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 17th. Uh, this week, we're just gonna jump right in here and see what's going on for you. You have this Gaia card. It says, trust the universe has a better plan than you do. Uh, spend time in nature, uh, heal, be soothed, and regroup. You have this manager card. It says, expect positive finances, uh, fi or expect positive financial change in your life. Your hard work is now paying off. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. So every single reading I've been doing for you kind of suggests that uh, you know, your work is kind of going in a new direction or is going to be improving your life in some way. And um, I definitely feel that here. I feel, it's kind of funny. I don't know if you saw how the emperor, he kind of came out sideways like this. <laughs> and, um, you know, intuitively, uh, I don't know, it just popped into my head as that he was coming out that, you know, some of you, I feel, uh, this is like encouraging you to be more confident, especially um, if you are feeling like you, you know, if you're like not sure about a direction that you want to move in in your life, I feel doing it with more confidence will, you know, I know that it's obvious, but it will make things much more successful for you. But it's a very good reading already. Um, you have the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Emperor. I feel like you need to be much more confident about choices that you're making. I kind of also do feel that the universe is making you more confident about choices you are making just in general. So, you know, it seems to me like the universe is uh, maybe encouraging you here or giving you a little bit of a boost. The Ace of Pentacles could be an opportunity or an offer uh, that's coming in for you as well. And this is going to be something uh, that you're going to have to commit to. You have the four of wands and the four of wands, of course, um, you know, can represent marriage. But I don't think this has to be love. Of course, I think the four of wands can be you committing to a process, you committing to a project or, you know, something along those lines. And uh, while I do think there could be love coming in for you, I really feel the four of wands is saying like, hey, there's something really great that you could achieve going this direction here. But I feel like you have to get out of your head. <laughs> uh, this last row is meant to represent the good stuff. So it's gonna be good no matter what. But what I will say is that as far as I'm concerned, the Nine of Swords is the worst card in the tarot. Um, you know, I know some people say the Ten of Swords or whatever, or the Tower, but um, you know, the Nine of Swords is very stuck. And you know, to me, it's the worst. So there you go. But um, you know, what I would say here is it is showing up in the good stuff, which is great. We're gonna look into that. But what I would say is again, I wouldn't overthink whatever this opportunity is. And you know, you even have this card here that says trust the universe has a better plan than you do. So it might seem like something isn't working out and I kind of feel this is, or something hasn't been working out in your life. And it's almost like the universe is coming in with this Ace of Pentacles being like, hey, here, here's a, a new opportunity. And yes, you're gonna have to put work into it, but it's much better than what you possibly could imagine. So I really feel that here. Uh, I kind of feel this is true for everyone where, you know, we could be holding on to our old li lives at this time, just in general. You know, we could be holding on to old people, old places, old things. And really, um, you know, it's like once we release those things and we see, you know, ha just how expansive new opportunities are for us, uh, I think everybody will start making those changes. But, you know, I really encourage people People to do that. And, you know, I, I don't know, I think there's a lot of nostalgia in the astrology, Neptune and Pisces. Um, you know, there's a, a million other things that are going on that I think could be triggering people to hold on to the past in certain ways. And I'm not saying you're holding on to everything. It could just be, you know, one thing or the other. And, uh, when, but when we break free from those things, um, that's where true freedom is. Uh, you have the uh, emperor here. So again, I feel like you're showing up in a good position. I feel like you need to believe in yourself more. And I, for, I don't know, I got that like here, but also going this direction here. Uh, it seems to me like the universe is doing things that is actually uh, making you feel confident. You know, I feel the universe is letting things work <laughs> in your life in so many ways. And you could be saying like, wow, thank God, uh, you know, this business idea worked or this career worked or this, you know, whatever you're committing to, you know, I feel like you're saying like, thank God that it worked. And I, I also feel like you're seeing clearly the things like why certain things didn't work. I actually feel pretty good about this three of swords. Um, the king of swords here is on top of the three of swords. And for whatever reason, it's popping into my head that you have gained some knowledge or wisdom. You you have gained some insights as to like what happened in a love situation maybe. So if you went through a heartbreak, you have the queen and king of swords, could be divine counterparts. Uh, they are my least favorite divine counterparts, but um, you know, to me, they just never see eye to eye. And you know, again, you could be seeing why something didn't work out. And again, I feel this is leading to a healing. Uh, with the Queen of Swords, you have the Queen of Pentacles, definitely focused on your money. Again, I don't really feel this is a love reading. You know, just like I said with the Four of Wands, I feel that Four of Wands is more commitment to something. You know, new way of living, uh, a new idea, something expansive. And Queen of Pentacles is about your resources. 
So definitely could be increasing your resources. Uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Justice card. Mm, yeah, like I said, also, <laughs> I just feel, you feel that the universe is being more fair. Or, you know, maybe you feel like you do something in the universe that is actually giving you some feedback. And, uh, you know, I think the feedback is something that's been missing for a very long period of time. You know, I always say that, again, Neptune and Pisces, you know, normally before we have Neptune and Pisces, maybe we set out to uh, to accomplish a goal and there are certain milestones that we will that we will see, um, you know, uh, under any other Neptune transit, right? But with like Neptune and Pisces, it's like those milestones are much farther apart. So it, it's like hard to know, I feel, with Neptune and Pisces, if you're making progress or, you know, you kind of have to go based off of like instincts and what you feel, not so much, um, you know, what the evidence says, although we still need to trust the evidence. So Neptune and Pisces, very murky. It's very confusing, especially if you're trying to accomplish some sort of dream, goal, wish, dream, something like that. There's some things that are helping you now. Uh, Saturn and Pisces, number one, is kind of grounding these things in reality. Also, Neptune retrograde right now. So it seems to me like you're just getting more feedback from the universe. You feel more confident. So love it. With the Emperor, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, a lot more success coming in for you here. I feel there's a lot of abundance uh, just coming in for you in general. I mean, again, you have the Nine of Pentacles right here. You have a lot of good stuff going on here, Aries. So uh, let's keep that going. Uh, next in the area of what you need to hear right now, you have this card that says lack of self-discipline. Uh, can't achieve success if you can't control yourself or make yourself work hard. I, I really don't think this is about you making yourself work hard. I just think it's been hard for you to work. And I think this is, again, true for everyone. There's a lot of this energy that I think is making us tired. The good news is, intuitively, I kind of feel like this is turning around. You're feeling more motivated, more like you can do work. So I feel because of that, you're doing more work, which is in turn, making more successful. You have this uh, ship has sailed card. It says the opportunity has already passed. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Um, I kind of feel like you're doing this to a person if someone hurt you <laughs> right here, three of swords. I feel like you're saying, nope, not gonna repeat this situation. I'd rather be alone for life than be with you. I feel like that's what you could be saying to a person, literally. You might literally say that to a person or you are just thinking, I'd rather be alone for the rest of my life if this is the only person I can be with. I kind of feel you could be at that point with a person. I also feel there could be um, a new love situation coming in for some of you. Uh, that it again i feel it's saying like don't let this one pass you by i feel it's something that would be really really good for you so you know if you want love it looks pretty good and you have the four of swords four of wands and the eight of wands i think something is coming in very quickly here with the eight of wands again this ace of pentacles opportunity so any new opportunities that take you out of you know where you have always been chariot i mean if i were you basically the chariot is what i'd be focusing on in this reading we're definitely going to talk about that in a minute but well we'll talk about it some of it right now he's um leaving this city behind him behind and he's going somewhere new. He's doing something different. So it's kind of like another clue to me where it's almost like you're entering into a new world. You know, I, I really feel that. Some of you could be entering into it like a new, um, you know, I, I want to say the word, word medium, but <laughs> it's like you're entering into a new place, I feel. Some of you literally in like work or business, you could be completely changing your business or your career. Um, for some of you, I feel like I've said this to you again. I'm having deja vu here. Like maybe you have a blog and you're going on YouTube or vice versa. Maybe you have a YouTube channel and you're starting a blog. If you're thinking about doing anything like that, like taking uh, your business to a new medium, like I said, uh, I think that would be great for you at this time. I see quick success uh, because of that. If you're thinking about starting something like that, podcast, blog, YouTube channel, whatever, uh, again, I feel... Um, that you will be sharing your voice with this Eight of Wands. And I see a lot of success because of it, so I would go for it. Uh, again, I also, I do feel that for some of you, there could be someone coming in to communicate with you in love or you could be communicating with a person. Again, I wouldn't call this like a major love reading, but I do feel that the energy is here. And if you want it, I definitely wouldn't let it pass you by. <laughs> I would, you know, I think this is something you want to commit to. It uh, definitely could be a Capricorn. Uh, it could be any sign. This is a general reading, but, um, you know, it could be a Capricorn for sure if you're looking for love. The Four of Wands is a card of commitment. So, you know, again, I would make the commitment. I, I also feel that you could be feeling a lot more free at this time. Four of Wands is a card of freedom. And you go up here to the uh, chariot. The chariot is kind of like a card of removing restrictions. He's still kind of restricted because he has these two sphinxes right here, but he's leaving that city behind him behind. He's 
you know, going to a new place, there are certain rules, regulations, and, you know, everything that exists in that city that he's coming from. So he's trying to set himself apart. He's trying to find a place in the world where he can, you know, be his own person, where he can do his own thing. And I feel a lot of you are looking for that. You have the four swords. For I am getting the word waiting here. So I feel this is something... Uh, that you've been waiting for for a long time like uh, you know the ability to set yourself apart or you know go somewhere new or do something different with your life uh with the four swords you have the page of wands yep definitely going to be an adventure like i kind of feel this is just saying you're ready as well the four swords is like you go from a break to the page of wands which is uh going on an adventure or taking an adventure so i kind of feel that's what you're doing here and with the four wands you have the four of pentacles yes definitely have to leave the comfort zone i mean everybody gets this right now we, you know, I just think it's, you know, collective energy, basically. We have we have to leave comfort zones. With the Eight of Wands, you have the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely a choice to be made here. I feel for some of you, uh, I, I would like choose this direction here. This is trusting experience. So if you have a choice to make in any area of your life, I don't care what it is, I would trust your experience going this direction. Both of these people here, the King of Swords and the um, Nine of Pentacles, the lady there, they both are very experienced. Um, you know, even she has these grapes behind her on the Nine of Pentacles and grapes in the tarot, they kind of represent something that's difficult to grow. So you have to have like a lot of skill to grow grapes. And it just says to me in this reading, it's saying that you have experience, you know how to do something. So if you're making a choice in love between two people or whether or not you want love or not, you know, trust your experience. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this card that says coming to life. Oh, I like this. That That is, um, you know, I definitely feel this is very good, this card. <laughs> you have this rescue card. Uh, I feel like something is coming to life. Probably you're, something that you're committing to, like I said, that seems to be, um, you know, a major focus in this reading. I feel you're committing to a new beginning. Again, it doesn't feel like love to me. I, I think that could be part of it. But again, it seems to me like you're more committing to a new direction in your life uh, with that chariot. Uh, part of me also feels that this is because, again, you're probably feeling more confident. Uh, like I gave the the example with Neptune and Pisces, uh, you know, I kind of feel maybe you're just more clear or you're understanding a direction that you need to go in life. And because you're feeling more like confident, I feel this is uh, pushing you forward. And we see that we see like a quick victory coming in for you. And I kind of feel that's what this reading is talking about. It's like some sort of quick win, a quick victory. You know, I don't really think it's been quick. I think it's been years in the making. <laughs> but, you know, I definitely feel you're getting a reward. Um, I think it was also, I don't, I don't remember who, but there was one other sign that had a similar message to this. And so, you know, whenever there are two signs that have a similar message, I always wonder if it's kind of like a collective energy or, you know, sometimes it's just a sign maybe that the universe is kind of lightening up or giving us a little bit of a break or something. And I kind of feel that energy for you here where you could be getting a break, but I feel like there's a, a rushing energy. I do feel someone could be charging into your life as well. Probably this King of Swords person, uh, probably someone older than you. It doesn't have to be. I always say King of Swords can just be ver a very mature person. And it doesn't matter what gender you're into either. Um, usually, you know, again, it's someone who's very mature. I do feel this could be a new person coming in here. They do seem like they could be rushing though. And again, I don't necessarily like this right here. The Three of Swords could say that you're getting over heartbreak. If we look this way here with the Four of Wands and the Four of Pentacles, this kind of gives me the vibes and also the four swords up here that either, you know, you might be healing from a heartbreak or this person might be healing from a heartbreak. And again, if they're rushing, the problem with that is, is that if they're getting over heartbreak and they're rushing in, it's like they're looking for a Band-Aid. You know, it's like they haven't made the full healing. So I would make sure to, again, don't let someone rush. It's not saying, I don't think this reading is saying if someone's coming in that they're a bad person. I think it's just saying like, make sure that you're not getting with someone who isn't healed. You know, make sure you're not someone's Band-Aid, basically. Band-Aids are gross, right? With the uh, Chariot, you have the Seven of Swords. Some of you, again, could be you that was hurt in a lying, cheating, stealing situation. But, you know, again, at this time, because of the astrology, I always think of the Seven of Swords as a card of tactics. It's a card of doing things differently. And, you know, he's normally the guy on the Seven of Swords. He's stealing those swords from an army in the background. And I always say that, you know, he kind of needs to... Uh, think tactically. He's not going to war directly with that army. He's doing things in a different way. And again, with Pluto and Aquarius for the next 20 years, you know, at the end of this year, beginning of next year, basically, um, 
you know, what I would say is that, you know, that's the name of the game <laughs> is is doing things in a tactical way. Like if there is a better way to do things in your life instead of just going straight towards it, you know, that's what I'd be doing. I would be thinking more tactically. I would be thinking more, um, you know, kind of like, you know, like what are the tricks that I can use? Like I'll, I'll just I'll just give you a little bit of a secret here. I'm working on a behind the scenes channel um, that's going to be a top. It's a top secret channel right now. It's a, an undercover channel that no one knows about, right? And I'm doing it to prove that my 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 YouTube tricks work. And um, so like one of the tricks that I'm using is I'm only doing shorts on that channel to start it um, because it's like proven that you can grow a channel with shorts much faster. And so far, you know, I think that it's going to work pretty well. So. It's like that would be the tactical approach. Like instead of just going straight, doing like big long videos, I'm doing shorts, which I can bang out a lot faster, right? So what I would say here is again, in this reading, I feel like it's saying like, is there, if you're trying to start something, I don't care what it is, like is there a more tactical approach or something else you could do? I don't know, you're gonna have to think about it. Uh, you have the emperor, again, with that king of swords. Kind of suggests that this, uh, King of Swords energy is, again, interested in you, but I also feel the King of Swords could be you <laughs> uh, right here, you know? So again, you could be overcoming a heartbreak and choosing to be single, uh, although I'm not so sure about that yet. Um, we're gonna have to see at the end. Yeah, look, with the Three of Swords, you have the Ten of Pentacles. See, again, this kind of suggests to me that you actually are finding love because the Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in life. It doesn't have to be love, but you know, it is the tree of life. It is about building and leaving a legacy. I tell everyone right now that if you want to be successful, that all you have to do is focus on building, leaving a leg legacy, you know, making your mark on the world, doing something important, or, um, you know, doing something that kind of makes you stand out. These are all really good things to do. And working on it can lead to feeling good, could even heal your heartbreak. Because if you're achieving something, then you're probably going to feel a lot more happy and this is going to lead to more success as well. But uh, I also consider it the best love card in the deck. So there definitely could be a solid love connection coming in for you. Uh, to me, it's also talking about, you know, quick success. I really do feel there is a quick success coming in for you. It looks like this Ace of Pentacles opportunity. Uh, you have this card in the area of the um, of the good stuff. You have this card that says, only weavers know the time. And then you have this card that says, all the diamonds in the sky. Definitely, I think your ideas are very fertile at this time. I kind of feel like these cards are saying, you have these ideas to expand your life. Again, my, I think I said that at the beginning of the reading with the Ace of Pentacles. That's really how I see this reading for you. Very, I get a very expansive energy here. And I feel this is saying, get working on those ideas because you know, you're know you you're only getting older. You're not getting any younger. <laughs> and so it is time to get to work here, Aries. And I feel you'll be very happy that you did. You have the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Again, um, you know, I feel pretty good about this. I kind of feel like you're getting something that you thought you wouldn't get. You know, it's like, I know some people, you know, in love, for example, they turn 30 and they're like, oh my God, I'm never gonna find someone. But it's like, you are, you know? I feel like there's some sort of fear like that. I'm not saying, you know, I'm not saying that's the fear, but I I'm just giving you an example here. It could be anything. Like maybe you think that, you know, if you don't make a certain amount of money by a certain age that you're a loser or something like that. I feel like this is kind of putting some sort of fear to rest. I also, for whatever reason, I feel that some of you, the changes you're making in work could be making you much, much more secure. Uh, you know, again, maybe you feel that there is no security in what you do and you're just trying to create like a little bit more safety or security <laughs> so that, you know, if something happens, you don't have to worry about it. It's like, I always tell people like, to me, YouTube is not a business, right? Uh, to me, um, you know, I have other businesses, uh, thank God, you know, because if something were to happen to YouTube, I'd be perfectly fine. But um, what I'd say is to me, YouTube, number one, it requires me, so not a business. Number two, um, you know, they're constantly changing things and it's, and it's like, you never know what could happen, right? So, you know, it's like, there's no security. And, you know, again, I, it's popping into my head that some of you could be creating more, maybe you have a job or maybe you're on YouTube, you know? And I feel like you, it's like whenever you're, you're working on something to create a more secure atmosphere or to make it feel more secure, turn maybe you're turning it into more of a business or something like that. You have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles says teamwork makes a dream work. Definitely a big fan of teamwork right now uh, and for the next 20 years. Again, Pluto and Aquarius. Anything that benefits the collective is gonna benefit you times you know a million. So if you have any ideas where you could get people to help you or people could help you out, uh, then I would definitely do it. Again, it's not about you, it's about them. You know, When people help you become successful, it makes them feel good. And if we get more, more and more and more of that going on in the world, then we will create a better world. You know, so that's why I keep preaching this stuff and that's what I would work on there. I also feel you could be receiving uh, recognition for your work and I am just getting a general like increase in your finances with the nine of pentacles. So 
I kind of feel this could be coming because you are receive like you're receiving recognition for your work. Again, three of pentacles is a card of quality work. It says you do a good job. <laughs> it's just that simple. So again, I feel you could be getting a certain level of recognition or standing out and uh, you know, it's gonna lead to more success. With the nine of pentacles, you have the nine of swords. You're definitely overcoming something here, right here. It's 10-10, as I say that, by the way. Um, you know, I feel you could be overcoming a negative cycle or leaving a negative cycle as well. And I feel this is, is really gonna open you up. Again, I love this card because it's kind of like a dandelion, you know, with the, the, the diamonds, the seeds going out. And I, you know, I was getting that expansive energy in your reading. I do feel with the Nine of Swords, some of you in this, Nine of Swords twice plus this, it's like you could be leaving a situation that has kept you very restricted or maybe has boxed you in. It's like you're expanding out or you're becoming bigger in some way. Uh, with the Nine of Swords, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Yes, accept this opportunity. <laughs> I feel it will break you free from this Nine of Swords energy. So, you know, I would definitely accept any opportunities, you know, any big opportunities that come your way with the Ace of Pentacles, anything that uh, stands out. I also feel it's, there's something here with experience. I keep getting the word experience when I look at that King of Swords. He is experienced. Um, you know, he, he definitely would be the card of experience or could be one of the cards of experience. But there's something here, like maybe you're getting a job where, you know, but I think there's something else <laughs> uh, where it's like, I don't know exactly what I'm, what is popping into my head here, Aries, but it's like, maybe you have experience doing it. Like you, maybe you're getting a job that is related to what you used to do, but maybe it's different in some way. It's like, it's popping into my head like that. I feel like right now, if you're getting an opportunity like that, you're saying, oh, this is too different. But I, like in my head, my intuition is like, no, it's exactly the same. It's just different. <laughs> I don't know. So take it how it resonates. Maybe you're getting a job in a different industry, but really it's the same. You know, I, I think you have nothing to worry about. Maybe you're worrying about this. Same thing, on, maybe if you have a YouTube channel, maybe you want to grow your YouTube channel or branch out or do something different. I feel this is kind of like encouraging you to do it. I feel it's encouraging you to, you know, try it. Same thing in love. Again, you might be meeting a person who's different than your usual type. I feel it's saying try it. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords. Definitely major improvements coming in for you. So, uh, love it. I feel the Six of Swords also says, again, while I think these improvements are coming into your life you know, quickly, I feel you have been through a long rite of passage. I, I feel it's been like four years, five years of, you know, kind of uh, intense learning, learning from other people, especially as well. Like it wouldn't surprise me at all. It would not surprise me at all <laughs> if you have had a lot of personal issues with people, you know, because, you know, with, especially with like working to keep with people, maybe you've been screwed over by a bunch of people and everything like that based off your astrology for the past four or five years or so. And, you know, I think that that's turning around now. There's more benefits for you. Uh, we're pulling five main themes. You have this uh, choices card, definitely a choice here. Make the choice based off experience, plain and simple. It just, that's it. You have this order card. I feel like you're bringing more order to your life. Uh, less anxiety as well. I don't know. I, it popped into my head that, again, if I only had YouTube, I, I would be a neurotic mess, right? <laughs> because it's like, there's no security. It, there's no security with this as a job, right? Or a business. So, you know, it's like, I wouldn't be able to do it. So, you know, again, I really feel that some of you are creating something in your life that brings in more secure feelings and less anxious feelings. Again, you maybe you have a uh, job, but maybe you're starting a side hustle, just bringing in a little extra cash. You know, that can take a huge weight off your shoulders. So, you know, that's the feeling I get from this reading. You're doing something. Uh, and again, it could be business related that's sending you free. You have this versatility card. We talked about this with the Seven of Swords. Uh, you know, this card here, is a card of trying things differently or doing, um, you know, if one way to do something doesn't work, try something else. And I definitely feel that here. Be versatile. You have this empathy card. Mm, I kind of feel some of you could be attracting a person who really listens to you as well, who's very, you know, who has a lot of empathy, who's very caring. So you definitely could be attracting a good person. Uh, and finally, you have this innovation card. I, I mean, literally the whole entire reading, we talked about this. I, I, I think I said this to you last week. <laughs> if I were a Pisces or an Aries, and I am, <laughs> I would be focusing on uh, innovation and trying new things. Again, you know, to me, like that, that little chunk of the sky there, Pisces, Aries, well, really, if you want to get super technical, like Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries, and Taurus, like that little quarter of the sky, um, you know, if you have any of those, if you have those signs heavily in your chart as well, then, um, 
you know, I'm telling you right now, if you want to get rich, if, if, if you want to, doesn't even have to be money. If you just want to be successful, if you want to change the world in some way, if you want to find the love of your life, I don't care what it is. Uh, this is the only thing I would focus on if I were you, trying new things. And also, I would. this is also the only other thing that I'm focusing on right here is blowing seeds out all over the place, seeing what grows, and then doubling down on what grows. Again, I'm literally starting a whole new channel also talking about this, using this process of experimentation because it's probably the thing that will make you the most successful. And it's kind of like easy in a way. It's a pain in the ass to blow a bunch of seeds all over your yard, but it's like once you see the things that grow and you can double down on those things, um, you know, it's going to be, you're going to be happy you did it. Because again, with Neptune and Pisces, there's no clarity. There's no, you know, very murky water. So if you can do something that produces a result and be like, oh, I need to move in this direction, it's going to make things a lot easier. So uh, I love this reading for you. Love where it's going. Thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.